this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, I received a comment from a brother by the name of, forgive me if I mispronounce it, uh, K Kiseya Yehuda. And um, he wanted to show me Exodus 12 and 49 to support that God's law is for all. So Exodus 12, 49 says, One law shall be for the native born and for the stranger who, d who dwells among you. He also pointed me to Isaiah 56 and 7. And I'm just going to read Isaiah 56, 1 through 7. And it reads, Thus says the Lord, Keep justice and do righteousness, for my salvation is about to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this and the son of man who lays hold on it who keeps from defiling the Sabbath and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Do not let the son of the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord speak saying, the Lord has utterly separated me from his people, nor let the eunuch say, here I am a dry tree. For thus says the Lord to the eunuchs who keep my Sabbath and choose what pleases me and hold fast my covenant, even to them I will give in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than that of sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also, the sons of the foreigner who joins themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord to be his servants. Everyone who keeps from defiling the Sabbath and holds fast my covenant, even them I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. Okay. So iron sharpens iron, uh, iron sharpens iron. Like I said, I don't know all the mysteries of God. I don't even have all of the word of God memorized. You know, I frequently have to go back and, and look um, for scriptures or, you know, seek God for wisdom, what have you. I don't have all the knowledge in the world. Okay. Um, but I do have a heart for God. Um, his spirit dwells within me and my heart breaks for the things that break his heart. So when I see somebody um, you know, twisting his gospel. When I see somebody sharing a false doctrine, it bothers the Holy Spirit. It grieves the Holy Spirit that is in me. And so as salt of the earth, you know, we have to do what salt does and we have to preserve the one and only true gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay. And if, you know, and if an, in another nation, you've learned his name to be Yeshua, um, whatever you've learned his name to be. That's another thing. God created languages. Remember at the Tower of Babel, he scattered um, his people because they were trying to, to build a tower and, and to make a name for themselves. And he caused the language barriers to be created. So whether one calls him Yahweh or one calls him Yah or one calls him God or Father, Creator, um, Elohim, what have you, he can, he can take all of it in. He can take all of it in. There's another brother, Kwame. He was telling me about some movement in Africa called, um, I, I didn't write it down. I guess I didn't write it down, but it's something about the Cantus. It's, it's, um, it's similar to like the Hebrew Israelite movement, but, um, you know, Satan is busy all around the world trying to organize things that groups of people trying to create dissension and discord. And, um, you know, just as the Holy Spirit is operating in this world, so is the spirit of the Antichrist operating in this world. Just as, just as the Holy Spirit came into this world, the spirit of the Antichrist came into this world. And so as God sought in the earth, we have to preserve the gospel of Jesus Christ. And sometimes that means that we have to be in an uncomfortable position, and but we have to stand on the word of God for righteousness sake. And that's what he has caused me to do. Um, he's caused me to stand on his word. He's caused me to choose to be a disciple and not a domino to choose to be a disciple. A disciple stands on the word of God for righteousness sake. A domino, when they're offended, they, they fall over. 
and they take out the next domino in line. But a, a disciple will come and stand in the gap and say, no, we're not falling. Nobody else is falling. And so I say that to say, I speak out against it because I'm concerned about the people who could be led astray, you know? And as the salt of the earth, we have to preserve the gospel of Jesus Christ. All right. Um, I, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, yeah, be blessed in Jesus' name.